In this video, we're going to find the value of this function when x equals negative 3. Using the calculator, we need to input the function with negative 3 substituted in for x. To do this, we press shift and then open brackets to access absolute value, which is another way to say modulus. Within the modulus lines, type in brackets 2 times negative 3, close brackets. The brackets are optional here because the calculator works using big mass. To then negative 5. Now move the cursor outside the right hand modulus sign, then type in plus 6. To get the answer, press equals. And that's it. Here's how to generate the first five terms of a sequence if you know the nth term un. Press menu, scroll down to to get table mode, press equals to choose this. Type in your nth term using x instead of n, so 52 subtract 9x, then press equals. We don't want the second function, so just press equals without typing anything in. The default settings shown here ask the calculator to generate the first five terms of the sequence. Press equals to choose these. You now have a table of values for the sequence and you can scroll down to access them all. When finished, press menu one to return to calculate mode and that's it. In this video, we are going to calculate the sum of an arithmetic series using this calculator. In calculate mode, press shift and then X to access the summation sign sigma. Type in 2X plus 3 to input our function. Press the right cursor to get below sigma. Input 1 as this is our starting term. Press the right cursor again to get above sigma. Input 20 because this is the end term to be summed. Now to get to the answer, press equals. And that's it. We can use this calculator to work out the answer to iteration questions. In calculate mode, enter the value for x0, which is 3 and press equals to store this answer. Press AC and enter the iterative formula replacing XN with answer. This would go 4 minus fraction 1 over answer. Then press equals to get X1. You can see this is a decimal. Then press equals again to get X2 then press equals again to get x3. We can write down each answer as we go along. And that's it. In this video, we're going to find the unit vector in the direction of this 2D vector. First press menu and then five to choose vector mode. We now enter our vector. Press 1 to call our vector vector A, then press 2 to make our vector 2D. Now enter the I component 6 equals J component 8 equals. The calculator will remember vector A. Now clear, then press option and scroll down and enter 4 because we want to find a unit vector. Then press option again, press 3 to tell the calculator that we're finding the unit vector of vector A, then close brackets and then press equals. This gets the unit vector of vector A, 